Is crime rate and safety one of the more important things on your list when ready to make the move? If so, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that in not only Scarborough, but in Toronto as well, so you can know exactly what to look out for in different types of crimes that may be happening in the area that you're looking for. And it's all gonna begin right after this. Hey everyone, Josh Tavares, Realtor at the XP Realty covering the greater Toronto area. It would mean so much to us if you can help us out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. If you're thinking of listing your home one acts or seller's guide, comment seller's guide down below and I'll send that your way. And without further ado, let's begin. To access this map, you're gonna have to go to Toronto Police Crime Map in Google search. You're gonna click right over here. And it's going to take you to the portal of all the different information and maps that we have access. And you can see up here, there's different information you can access here through your data analytics, maps, data, open data, and so much more. And here we have multiple functions here, seven. So year to day crime map, uh, year end, fatal traffic collisions, neighborhood crime, community asset portal, annual statistics report, as well as find my NCO. Now I do want to also provide a disclaimer that you're going to see a lot of dots and a lot of different events taking place on these maps. Do understand that Toronto is a massively populated city and any large municipality with a high population is going to have larger occurrences of crimes than some other communities in where with smaller population. So something to keep in mind of when looking through this and, uh, you know, not getting, uh, you know, scared by looking at the information. So we're going to look at the TPS crime app year to date. So this, uh, this map here is actually really great to have a bird's eye view of Toronto and the different divisions, these are different divisions here. And then here you can actually filter in your search, right? You can look for different crime types, such as assault, auto theft, break and enter, homicide, rob, robbery, and more. You can go with the police division and where you're located, right? And then of course, as well as the neighborhood. So for ourselves, we're going to look into, you know, auto thefts in the area of the 43 division. And we are going to go with the Centennial Scarborough community and we're going to click apply. And with here, we see all the different little, little occurrences there, auto thefts, all these little green spots here. And it'll say information from crime type, um, permission type, reported date, date and time, division, all that information to really help know the intersections, the communities, where a lot of those take place. And it's also really cool to your right here, you have a year-to-date summary of homicides, assaults, auto theft, break and enter, robbery, and then some that'll just begin to populate as you continue to click these. It'll tell you there's 78 homicides as a total, 14,780 assaults, and so on and so forth as you go further and further down, which is, like I said, really, really cool. You can even zoom in further into the community that you're in, which gives you a better perspective, especially for intersections and community to know, you know, is there a lot of breaking and entries in this area? Is there a lot of car robberies? Is there a lot of assaults, right? Are there other homicides, you know, in a community that I'm looking towards moving into or currently living in and looking maybe towards removing myself from that community? It's something to keep in mind, it's a really, really good tool that, uh, you know, that I think is not as, um, well aware of for a lot of folks who are looking to make the move to Scarborough. So I think it's a really unique tool that um, is really going to help give you a different perspective and really help your search um, that a lot of people are not utilizing. I think this is really, really cool. Right, and you can go as far down, zoom in and out as you like. All the information is here. Um, you know, everything there. So with this is also different functions up here. You can kind of uh, filter kind of like an Excel spreadsheet you know, um, even search crime types and dates and all that stuff. So let's go back. And now let's check out the year end TPS crime app. Very similar to the previous map we've just seen. Right, so we gotta agree to the terms there make sure to click that, click okay. And then uh, this is a bigger map of Toronto and then it'll show you information from you know, as far back as 2004 for homicides and uh, major crime indicators from 2014 to 2020. So this map is an overall um, similar map we've just seen, but it isn't really um, your data has information that is more 
on the uh, census of the last like six to eight years, even information, like I said, going back to 2004, that, uh, you know, as you can see, as you click on it and you're further out, you will see a ton of dots. And like I said, um, Toronto is a highly populated city, you know, even the Scarborough area. So because of the high population, there is going to be a higher probability for, you know, more crime rates than being in a small town. So do keep that in consideration. And once again, you can uh, click on the indication. So let's just say you're looking to move that Lawrence and McCowan. There is an indication, something that taking place there. It'll give you all the information from this current assault, when it was reported, when it took place, right? And all the information that's there and, and you know, all the other little indicators is there as well. So it's like I said, a really neat tool to give you a better idea as to what's taking place in the community. And uh, even there's even bike theft as well. So if you're someone who's going to, you know, ride your bike around the community, it's really, really good to kind of get a really good idea as to how frequently this is taking place and to protect yourself. Maybe you want to get a couple of bike locks to go along with, um, you know, with your bike when looking to park it around the community. And with this map, you know, you can go as further out as, as you like. And you can essentially put everything in one map and get super populated. It looks like a massive uh, a coloring book with all the different dots indicated everywhere. And, uh, you know, I like how you can just unfilter it to kind of look more as to the one major crime that sticks out to you the most, whether it be assault, theft, break and enter, so on and so forth. You can, you know, look at the uh, filter the task, which is great and to have all these different functions and legends to kind of show you exactly more information. So let's go into the fatal traffic collisions. I think this is really important for a lot of families who of course need to transport and commute via vehicle. Um, with this, it's super important, I think, because it goes to show that, you know, is the neighborhood I'm looking to move into? Is there a lot of fatal, you know, car collisions? Is this something that's gonna be a concern with my, you know, children um, playing in the area? Is this something that I need to be, you know, really careful with when it comes to driving? in the community so something definitely keep um you know note of and also i like with this one here is it shows you all different types of the you know occurrence that took place such as fatal collisions pedestrians you know any uh, questions involving pedestrians drivers cyclists so we can essentially look and put in let's say cyclists and then that'll begin to populate right there's an occurrence there Unfortunately, it was fatal. And uh, yeah, and you can just put all this information here. It'll begin to populate more. In this area, there's not a whole bunch taking place. Now for fatal collisions all the way from 2006 to 2020, it shows you all the different spots, right? And we can go up here for the legend's sake, and it'll say here, blue is for pedestrian, red for driver, green for cyclist. So it gives you a full legend breakdown to give you a perspective as to who is the one getting, um, you know, who's getting into these collisions here. So really important information, whether you're driving a vehicle, you're a cyclist, pedestrian, whatever it is. And, uh, and especially the community you're looking to get into, like let's say we're zooming in here and we're looking right here at Scarborough Golf Club and Lawrence Avenue East right this is a, uh, a driver age 75 79 here's all the characteristics involving what had taken place or as much they can of course release and uh, everything here is disposed of your fingerprints which is super neat and awesome and uh, really key when looking to make the move anywhere that you're looking to go so let's check with the neighborhood crime rate i'm sure many of you are anticipating this one here very similar in function as the other maps very easy to use this will uh, change in multiple colors and magnitudes of colors as per different types of um, crimes taking place. So we can see in the 43 division, which is rather significant here in Scarborough for assaults. Now we can, now to start it fresh, we have a clean slate here. There's no crimes taking place until we begin to put in assaults. And then of course, the darker the region is, of course, the more um, taking place in that region there auto theft and then we can begin to see as we now zoom out where there is more taking place more of these um, occurrences now break and enter let's say you just want to go break and enter well there you go break and enter is red right now you want to know what homicide you know what areas of homicide what communities well there you go dark blue and it shows you of course the darker the area, the more condensed and more occurrence taking place. So it's also a really good idea 
to know if a community is a little bit heavier on that particular crime. Now with robberies, there you go. Similar as for the homicide area of uh, this community here around, uh, you know, Morningside, Lawrence Avenue East taking place. And this, like I said, it goes out all throughout Toronto. So you can, you know, also look throughout the greater area within Toronto as the city and theft over and so on and so forth. A lot of really good information here. So let's say you're looking to move into Agincourt in this community, etc. unfiltered. Right, and then now we can say, okay, well, what's the amount of assaults taking place? Well, there you go. And then you can click on this arrow on the side there and it'll show you whether more or less, and of course, darker the color means higher concentration, less, uh, light of the color means less. So essentially we can see that Agincourt isn't as bad as we can see with this community here. Right, and then same thing with auto theft, it's a little bit heavier than we would see assault, right, and homicides and, and so on and so forth. So really good tool to definitely take a look at. You can zoom in super close where we're talking about, you know, intersections and even then some, you can zoom into like suburban intersections where your home could be right there and uh, know exactly, you know, the uh, concentration of the assault taking place. And then we have the community asset portal, very similar to, the, to what we've already seen in the last four maps. Okay, I'm just giving you a breakdown as to uh, what they have here. And there we go. So I click on these three pages here to get to the filtering section you're looking for. Now, what I like about this one here, which is the community asset portal, is that it'll actually show you where you can access information for newcomers into the country, for those who may need help with accessing food in the form of, you know, uh, shelters or whatnot, government service, uh, buildings, healthcare, homelessness, housing, indig uh, services for indigenous people, legal services, which is really, really neat. Um, it really filters everything out and, uh, you know, this is a really, really great tool for those looking to move into a community who may be new to the country, who want to learn as much information they possibly can about, you know, living in the area, living in Canada and Toronto as a whole. And you can essentially look at all these different centers. Like now, if you're a newcomer who's just migrating to the community and you're looking to come into this region here, within Markham and Lawrence, well, we have an area we have a location over here, Ellesmere, Mark, we've got a couple of locations there. Click on them, have all the information here, address, hours, contact details, right? Let's just say now you're looking for a government building, right? We can zoom on out and let's say your closest one to you is the McCowan and Ellesmere community. Well, you're gonna go right in this Borough Drive community and here you go. You've got the phone number, you've got the hours, the address, all the different means of communication. So it's it's pretty much a Google map, but uh, for different services through Toronto Police Services, which is really, really helpful. And, uh, you know, will help many different people alike. And I think it's really, really awesome. Even places of uh, worship in here as well. So definitely play with it, get an idea as to the community and everything you're looking for. I think it's gonna be a really beneficial tool um, that's gonna change your perspective of the different community communities that you're looking to move into. And here we can look at some uh, different statistics for crime reporting maps. Let me find, I believe this is it here. So this will give you the crime at a glance, you know, within the division that you are looking to reside in, let's say you're looking into 40, 43 division, everything will say here. It'll say the eight homicides that have taken place and you can compare from previous years. We're already one below in the prior year. Look at the homicides by month. Of course it is, we can see heavily in the summer with June taking place four and uh, you know, 11% decrease from the prior year. 
shootings, we can see 31 were a bit lower than last year and even uh, you know two years before. And we see which months, of course, as we can see here, August is a heavy shooting month as well as November hasn't been too uh, safe as well, assaults. So it's a really good chart and page to come into to get a analytical perspective, a different chart perspective as to the different um, division that you're looking to move into, break and enter, robbery, the different months, the charts, everything's here. Like if you're a very analytical person who likes to see charts and numbers and like this, and you're looking to move into community, this is what you have to take a look at. Um, you know, it's very easy to get lost in this and, uh, you know, consume a lot of this information. But do remember that, like I said, Toronto is a massive city. All large municipalities with high population are going to have a high volume of crimes. That's just going to come with having a high population. So just doing your research and finding out which communities have the best groups, uh, the best safest community is, is probably the best in terms of using this tool and analyzing, um, you know, what is the best for you and your family. And we even have reports here that you can, you know, access all kinds of further information that wasn't already currently listed. And uh, once again, a really beneficial tool that I think not enough people who are looking to reside in Canada, in the greater Toronto area, actually have access to or even are aware of. And I think it's really going to make a world of difference in terms of the communities, because there's many people who come into the greater Toronto area, select a community and may not be fully satisfied with the community based on many aspects and some of these crime rates. There you have it. All you need to know about the different tools and resources that you can use to find the safest neighborhoods as well as the crime rates within the city of Toronto and Scarborough. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. And if you want to know about the different areas in Scarborough that are the most popular, check out this video above. I go super in depth. You're going to love it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.